Oh, good morning, Phil. Good morning, Mr. Lutton. What? Good morning, Mr. Lutton. And I am not Phil. I am Mr. Odendron. <laughs> okay, Mr. Odendron. What is going on now? What in the world are you up to? Well, don't you get it? No. Uh, it looks to me like you're trying to imitate Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. No, that's not it. This is Mr. O'Dendron's neighborhood. So, we want to get that straight. Okay, Mr. O'Dendron's neighborhood. Uh, so, what, uh, uh, what's uh, going on this morning? Well, okay, I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer. Who helped me out here? Uh, oh, let's see. Oh, i got to have somebody. Olga, will you help me? Will you please help me? Just for a second. There's a poster right there. Would you hold it up and let everybody see it? Okay. There is a coaster. Okay, we've got to get it on there. And do you read that? Can you read that? Oh, yeah. Oh, What's the word? Oh, oh. oh, okay. Thank you very much, my lady. She's my helper. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, the letter hope. Uh, well, a friend of mine uh, has been having some problems. He's been down the dumps for some time. And you know, when things go bad, it's really tough to find hope in the world and to find help and to get connected again and get life back together again. The many people that have died in the movie theaters, the people that died in the schools, in accidents, and people that are suddenly take from us and pass away, and we didn't expect them to, and we miss them. And you know, all these things really hurt. They hurt us way down deep in here. And so we need to find help and hope. And yeah, even many churches have problems too. And so that's exactly right. They're full of people that have a lot of problems and a lot of heartaches. You know, if we're uh, just really was uh, uh, honest uh, with ourselves, uh, there's times in life when there seems to be no hope. Yeah, that's exactly right. And you know, thousands of years ago, in a small community, there was a man who lived who they thought was the hope of the world. They thought he was going to be the great redeemer who was going to deliver them from Rome and the Roman Empire. And they thought he was going to be the one that was going to redeem Israel. And they took him and hung him on a cross and he died. And can you imagine all of these people had their hope built up in them and then he died and was no more to be seen except for his special uh, helpers, his apostles. So, you know when tragedy comes, so and, uh, it just virtually uh, eats us alive, and uh, the devil threatens to destroy uh, everything we've done. Uh, honestly, uh, we reach a point in our human capacity where we can't take anymore, don't we? Yes, that's exactly right. We do. And at the same time, we're blessed with the recognition of their own weakness. There is God. Jesus is still in the saving of business. And so, hope, our 
hope is in Jesus. He is our real hope of the future. You remember Mary Magdalene, and she came to the garden tomb, and she was the first one to be there uh, on Easter morning. And it seemed like her world was just totally destroyed and all lost. And all of a sudden, she hears that that voice, that that distant voice. Yes, the voice of hope. Tell you about the coaster. 